Come on, people. Air Force One landed an hour ago, and they still haven't left the hangar. This news hound smells a story. Give me something I can sink my teeth into. No, no, and no. Look, I know you have a laundry list of reasons not to get married tumbling around in your head, but you're never going to see the big picture if you get stuck in spin cycle. There is no Chloe equipped that's going to make me change my mind. Clark can hear the world's cries for help, but he's duty-bound to answer the call. I am not going to stand in his way. He can't listen all the time, Lois. He's not God. He can't be aware of every bird or blade of grass, OK? He's a man. And sometimes he needs to not listen. He needs to rest to love, to laugh. And when he finally does decide to take to the skies, he's gonna need you to ground him. Well, that's what I'm afraid of. I'm grounding him. Keeping him from soaring to new heights. Oh, Lois, that is so not what he thinks. But since you're not gonna meet him at the altar, you should hear that in his own words. I, Clark can take you, Lois Lane, to be my companion. Forever. And with you by my side, I will never be alone. Now the world sees a strong and independent woman. I've never known someone with such gentle grace and a more pure heart. When I've been lost, you've always been there to bring me back. So on this day, at this moment, I pledge the rest of my life to you. You've always believed in me, and I believe in you. And when you believe in someone, it's not for a minute. Or just for now. It's forever. I'm such an idiot. <laughs>